Men and women, of course, have been fascinated by their own image since time immemorial. So this is a real treat. We get to meet a master gilder, Mike Gleason, and view some stunning mirrors, the old and the new. Of course, I love the genuine old ones, but I've heard that the handmade reproductions are pretty good quality. Mike, this is the kind of mirror that I would normally gravitate towards. It's absolutely beautiful, very fine. 1720, 1735. Now, a lot of people wouldn't like this distressed look, but that's a genuine mirror, isn't it? That's right. In this case, it's your absolute guarantee of age. Um, it's backed with mercury, and they, they banned the use of mercury in 1860. So more of your business now is in the reproduction market? Well, that's right. Um, since the early 90s, we, um, we realised that people wanted to buy decorator items as well as antique ones. So um, with the skill set that we had, we started making a range of reproductions. Yeah. And this is a reproduction of the Queen Anne one. That's right. It's yeah. an exact replica. It's very, very good. So you're not trying to con anyone here because you've got this uh, sharp beveled edge there. No, that's right. It's a decorator item. It's not an investment. Yes. Yeah. 15,000, how much is a repro? 900. 900, right. That's okay. Right. And that's a big difference. So, Mike, tell me, the, the original gilding was water gilding, wasn't it? That's right. How was that done? That's the more original process from the um, time 3000 BC. But this isn't that, <coughs> is it? This is something slightly different. This is oil gilding, and this is a process that was um, devised in the early 1900s and um, was often used in conjunction with water gilding. With water gilding, you just do a small section at a time. Tiny bit at a time, With yeah. this, it's used on just about all picture and mirror frames. Oh, yeah. And uh, a lot of people mistakenly call this gold leaf. It's gold in colour, but it's actually a brass leaf. And when it's sealed with a shellac, it, it gives a, it gives a lustrous gold colour. It makes it look the same. This was a technique, as with many other things, devised in the, um, um, as a product of the Industrial Revolution, where they could make um, device processes which were less expensive. Of course, and, and, make and could be used gilt for mirrors the for the masses. Yeah. Exactly. So this is the finished product then? It is. It's uh, been toned down, it's been gilded, sealed and toned. We're not uh, passing it off as an antique, but we want it to look authentic. Sure, you're not trying and, to uh, fool anyone. No, we're not. We're just no. sharing the love. So, mate, this is a traditional method. This is where you use real gold. That's right. This is water gilding. And what we're using here is 22 or 23 karat gold. Um, it's one two hundred thousandth of an inch thick. So this is just um, adhering to the moistened clay. And again, as with the oil gilding, it splits in the hollows. I can use an agate, which is, which is a semi-precious stone. And that compacts the clay based under the gold. But I'm looking for a very special mirror, and I think I might have found it. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of us all? Surely not Adrian Franklin.